I mean, I think estate planning is important because, you know, people work hard, they build up an estate. Um, really, the last thing they want to do is have a part of that estate paid out to the land revenue. I mean, look, if, you know, most people that have got a sizable enough estate will have a will. They might leave in some of their assets to their spouse, some to their children, split, split equally. Um, if they really don't have any sort of decent plans in place um, and they die and there's an inheritance tax liability, Really, there's no fourth party in the role, which is HMRC. Um, and if people pay enough taxes during their lifetime, they pay income tax, they pay lifetime allowance charges, well, used to pay lifetime allowance charges, they pay annual allowance charges, capital gains tax, etc. Um, and I just, for the vast majority of people I would meet, you know, they would think, look, they've worked hard, built up an estate. They want to pass that estate on intact, and they don't want, you know, any of it going to the, the inland revenue. It's a voluntary tax. You know, you don't have to pay it if you make plans during your lifetime. Um, you need to give it a bit of time. There's definitely at least a seven year sort of period um, before you expect a death. Obviously, nobody knows when we're going to die, but um, you need a, a bit of time to put to put plans in place and make sure that they work properly. Um, you know, but again, I've helped you know quite a few individuals with it, um, and I know that it's going to make a real difference to their their children as well. You know, so. Well, at the minute, there's there's a couple of allowances. There's the uh, uh, the millery band. So each individual can pass on three hundred twenty five thousand to the children without any inheritance tax. So for a married couple, that's six hundred fifty thousand. Um, there's a main residence millery band which was brought in. That's one hundred seventy five thousand as well uh, per person. So in theory, you can pass on an estate now up to a million pounds. Um, it's only the, the amount above that that's going to be liable to, to inheritance tax. Now, there's no inheritance tax between spouses, so you can pass as much money to your partner or your spouse um, as you want without any inheritance tax. It's only between parents and, and children. Well, the key benefit really is just, you know, doing a bit of forward planning, make sure that in the event of your death, whenever ultimately you, you, know, you do die, we're all going to die at some stage, is that you know two things are going to happen one is you're not going to be paying you know 40 percent potentially of your estate over to above the null rate bands over to uh, uh the end of revenue you're not going to burden your children uh with having to pay a liability because the reality is you know they they, they have to pay this tax to allow your state to go through probate that has to be paid within a certain time period and what can often happen is that then they have to start disposing of assets themselves to try and meet the liability so you're removing financial stress from them and you could be helping them financially and helping them to help their children um, by passing on your estate intact. If their estate's worth uh, you know, below the null rate band and they've made a will, that's the key thing, they have to make a will because if you die in test date, all that happens is that the, the state makes a will for you and it won't be what you want to happen. So you know, even having a very simple will will simple it will make things uh make your make sure your wishes are um are met and you can pass on the value of your estate but in reality you know once your estate is worth anything over six hundred fifty thousand, um there's going to be a, some sort of issues there and that's where some sort of forward planning um comes into place <laughs>